October 2nd to 4th this year, which is the 7th anniversary of the great Revelation 12 rapture sign. Out in the Great Plains, where it is hot and we are completely saturated with wildfire smoke today. Now, this is some bombshell information. This is the big enchilada. This is telling us everything we need to know about the next two to three months. And don't expect mainstream media to tell you this. Get a load of this. The only man in the world to have met with Volodymyr Zelensky and Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping within the span of a week, probably since several years, if ever, was Viktor Orban. And a couple days ago, I made reference to a comment that he made when he said that everything was about to culminate in September. Now, this is a more in-depth report of exactly what he said. Get a load of this. And if this doesn't kickstart your preparedness, I don't know what will. And I can tell you that this corroborates 110% exactly what the president of Serbia, Alexander Vucic, said. The reason why his country is stockpiling and fortifying their strategic reserves of wheat, oil, all of the bare essentials to ride out wartime is because of the following. The decisive battle of the conflict will begin soon, and all will be decided by September. He regrets that he was not able to do it through ceasefire. It was not, he was not able to save Ukraine from unnecessary casualties. After this battle, he hopes that a negotiation can begin. Now, it goes into greater depth here. This is an interview that was just conducted a couple days ago. We are living in a special time. This is wartime, he said. My estimation is that in the forthcoming two to three months in the run-up to the U.S. election, what will happen on the front line will be far worse than up until now. The Ukrainians are expecting more weapons, and the Russians are moving consistently ahead, with no, no signs of the conflict abating. The energy of the confrontation, the number of deaths, the loss of life will be more brutal than it ever was up until this point. This guy is going to hit this car in front of me. Oh, okay, he straightened it out. When asked by the interviewer, why do you think it will be more brutal? He said the following. I had a chance to converse with Ukraine and Russia. And believe me, believe me, he repeated, in the forthcoming two to three months, it will be far more brutal. All sides are very committed to doing so. Now, the Ukrainians are happy and more optimistic because they got a good quantity of new weapons and they will use it. So this guy, the only guy in the world who has had the opportunity, I guess everybody's had the opportunity, but the only one who seized upon that opportunity, who's not in the deep pockets of the MIC, the military industrial complex, has said that in the next two to three months, the decisive battle of this war will be fought. Now understand that right now, in Ukraine, it is hot as hell as well. Throughout most of Europe, in fact, it is very hot. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I onward bound. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up. And let me stand by faith on heaven's table and a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. My heart has no desire to stay where doubts arise and fears dismay. Though some may dwell where these abound, my prayer, my aim is higher ground lord lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's table and a higher plane than i have found lord plant my feet on higher ground i want to live above the world though satan's darts at me are hurled for faith has caught the joyful sound the song of saints on higher ground. I want to scale the utmost height and catch a gleam of glory bright. 
But still I'll pray till rest I've found. Lord, lead me on to higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's table and a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Soon and very soon.